Tarantino. Well, how you doing? Well, welcome to the world's famous Magic Castle. You knew somebody, so you're in. <laughs> but boy, you picked a great night to come to this show. We got two great acts. They're both going to FISM to perform for the World Championships of Magic. They're going to be here tonight. And you got me. <laughs> My name is John Curtino. I do comedy. I do magic. Anything you don't find funny, that's the magic part. <laughs> we'll start off by doing a magic trick for you. Take a handkerchief and shake it around a couple of times. Why? Because it looks kind of magic-y. <laughs> Place it in your hand once, twice, three times, four times, five times, a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Push deep down inside here like this. We wave our hand over the top. This becomes an egg. Ooh. And this little handkerchief appears Whoa. here in your pocket. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Very cool trick. Till I teach you how it works, then you're going to go, hey, that's crap. <laughs> it's a fake egg and there's two handkerchiefs. <laughs> oh, shut up. It fooled you the first time. <laughs> Here's how you do this. You go to the store, you buy two handkerchiefs. Make sure they are the same color. The duplicate one, that's the other one, gets crumbled up into your pocket. Then you go to a craft store, you buy a plastic egg, cut a hole there about the size of a quarter, and you take the other handkerchief and you place it inside. Do not do this in front of the person you're going to show the trick to. So this is called the setup. It's like an egg with a little tail, egg under the thumb, tail in your hand, hand in your pocket. Then you wander around saying, who wants to see a magic trick? Because generally people that don't know you don't come up to you and go, I have no idea who you are. What do you do with an egg? You transfer the egg, you pull out the handkerchief, and you do the magic thing. The reason why you do this over here is very important. You do this over here because that keeps everybody's eyes off the deformed hand. <laughs> Now you take it, and it looks like you're placing it into your hand. Push it there once, twice, three times, four times, five times, a bunch of times. But we know it's not really going into the hand. Where's it going? Into the egg. Make sure the whole face is up. We go back into the pocket. We take out the other handkerchief. Then we show the egg. Always keep your hand over that thing. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not much of a trick. <laughs> Occasionally, someone will notice that, and they'll go, hey, what's with the red thing? Somebody yell it, I'll show you what to do. What's with the red thing? It's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. It may not work for you. <laughs> you got to do that, boys. you got to take the red thing. You have to peel it off the egg like that. Then you have to take out a glass. <laughs> Cool, Mr. Magic. <laughs> a lot of entertainers come out a lot of flash, flare, and color. That's actually one of here it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow, what? Oh. Hey, you don't be real impressed with something you couldn't do for $29.95. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, that you laugh at. <laughs> You only knew what this felt like, I guarantee you wouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Very important to find the sickness level of a crowd. <laughs> First magician I ever saw in my life, I think he was a magician or he was a wino, I'm not sure. He was in Central Park, he was laying underneath a tree, he was totally drunk, had wine bottles all over him, he smelled, he looked like crap, <laughs> sat up to a road trek, and I went, wow, I want to make this my life. <laughs> he said, don't always believe what you see. If I would take the scissor and make believe I cut the rope, it would look like there was two equal pieces. And I said, maybe that looks equal to you, buddy, but it doesn't to me. And he said, no, it is, because if you take this like this, you can just stretch it like that. He said, I didn't really cut the rope like I told you. He goes, so I can put it right back together just as easy. Put this in his hand, just like this. Like this. He said, boom, back together. And I said, well, that's not really back together. And he says, no, it is, watch. If I take the piece of rope like this, I hold it like this, and I give it a pull. Oh. You can see that it's not really cut. So I said, well, 
wait a second, you gotta give me an instant replay. And he goes, magicians ever read tricks, but I can do this one for you. <laughs> took the rug like this and he cut it. He said, then I took the rug and I stretched it. And I tied it in a knot. Put it in my hand and came back together. And so it still had that knot. He goes, that knot really bothers you, doesn't it? <laughs> Who's not a magician? You? Come on up, sir. I'm going to teach you how to magician. What is your name? Scott. Scott. How you doing, Scott? Good. Scott, here at the Magic Castle, we have a little safety requirement. So you got to use those. What I want you to do... <laughs> just give the cut. Of... No, I'm kidding. All right. But I will give you something to cut. Here. I want you to take the scissor. I want you to just cut this electric wire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my club. All right, just step back over here so you don't fall off the stage. Give it a big cut right there. No. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> How did you get these to cut? <laughs> Hey, that's the end of the show. <laughs> you got to hear a short circuit. What I want you to do is just wet your finger. <laughs> okay, Mr. Magic. <laughs> Next, you're going to touch the two bare wires together. <laughs> I would do it, but I don't want to die. That's <laughs> wires. <laughs> test, test, test. <laughs> This way a little bit. I need a female volunteer. Let's come up. Female. Right here. Come on over. <laughs> What's your name? Lisa. Come on up, Lisa. Hi. I can't see you. All right, calm down. All right. We are a tiny little thing. Thank you. All right, grab that rope. Give it a tug. Good. All right. Hey, you're really strong too. All right. You give it a tug. Not as strong as Lisa. All right. All right. This is going to be like a crazy thing if it works. All right. Grab the end of that rope, Lisa. Your name isn't Lisa. Did you pick up my egg over there? I dropped it. I laid an egg. All right. Just throw that little gray thing over there. Good. Grab the rope. Obviously, you don't play baseball. All right, here's the story. We're going to kind of tighten up on the rope. All right? All right, not so hard. All right? And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get a motion going between the two of you. And I'm going to see if I can saw the rope completely through my body. If this works, hey, calm down, right? If this works, it's something you're never going to forget. Ready? Here we go. Slow. Thank you. You stand here, okay? Give them a nice round of applause. You can back and stay here. Just stay here. Just stay right over here. Cool. Everyone in the Magic Castle goes, take a court. They make you take a card. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do something different. You're going to take a card, but you are going to take it yourself. I'm not going to touch the cards. Just take it any card you want. Preferably not a face card because I'm going to have you sign it, so I want to be able to see your signature across the face of it. Okay, got it? Okay. Take this pen and sign it across the front of the card. Really big. Yeah, right big so I can see it. the top on the marker. It doesn't matter if I see it, because I'll does. find it immediately. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I said it in the audio like this. All right, we're going to cut the cards. And you're going to do the shuffling in this whole thing. Well, this is easy shuffle. Look, <coughs> nothing in the back, right? Nothing in the back. Okay. You're the eyes of the audience. All right? You take this like this. This is kind of a weird shuffle. 
Oh, two finger shuffle. Can you do that? That's how you shuffle. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Volunteers, a round of applause. Now, the hardest part about it is not stabbing the card, but it's actually spilling my shot. So, welcome to the Magic Castle.